Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Once again, I wanna show you what a great solar igniter these aluminum cans are. We're gonna take this metal polish cream made by Blue Magic, get it in a auto parts store for $10, shine this parabolic curve up to mirror. It's going to collect photons, direct them towards the center, and then it's gonna reflect them out to about three quarters of an inch is where I'll put my char material. So let's start off. I want to show you where I picked this up. Yesterday we did the video about a tablespoon solar ignition and how to polish it up with blue magic metal polish. Now that was a stainless steel spoon. This is aluminum. And that same polish will shine this up to mirror just like that tablespoon was. I wouldn't want to get charged with open container now, would I? All right, now my container is almost empty. So when it gets that low on polish, I like to turn it upside down and coat that lid and just dip off of the underside of that lid. And we're just gonna polish it like you would do, polish anything else. Just a little dab of it and just keep working it. I usually have to polish it for, you know, two or three minutes, buff it out and then repeat two more times, so. I mean, just, just a standard polishing procedure. And since this is aluminum, this is all gonna turn very, very black. No need to be in a hurry on this. Take your time and get that mirror finish on there. You know, I picked up this beer can two days ago, got home, cloudy skies for the rest of the day. And then the next day, which was yesterday, rained all day. So I'm glad we have some night, nice clear skies, nice bright sun this morning. It's about, it's about 9.30. All right, let's buff it out the first time. This one is not going to need three coats of polish, just one more. You see my reflection, I'm upside down. There's the tripod. You know, I like to practice before I make these videos. So I got my other aluminum can, solar igniter, polished it up and practiced this morning. Oh, it just kept lighting up that char material one right after the other. I definitely want to show you that video. We'll end this video with that video. <laughs> Toothpaste, chocolate bar, anything that you find in nature is not going to get it that shiny. I agree that it will get some shiny, but not shiny enough. This is going to take seconds to get it ignition. All right, let's start off with the punk wood first. Now, you wanna point it towards the sun, of course, and make sure that you're right this way. I could tell by the reflection of the sun in this crease, I could tell that the sun is directly in that direction. 
And then if you make it, if you make the sun shine in your eyes like that right there, you know, to just come down a little bit and you are absolutely focused in, dialed in and aimed at the sun. That's where you want to go ahead and solar ignite. Normally you'd want to find it on your finger first. There's no need to with this. You could find it on the punk wood. Always wear shades when doing solar experiments. See it again. Well, let's try the char cloth now. Before you leave my channel, do me a favor, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. Do give the video a like. And stick around at the end of the video, I want to show you all that practice ignition that I did this morning. This is a great way to solar ignite things. Not, not really a survival tool, because there's nothing in nature that you can find. I mean, there's plenty of cans but there's nothing in nature that you could find that's gonna polish it up like that metal polish. Even, there's nothing, there's not even gonna be anything in your pack, toothpaste, chocolate bar, that's going to shine it up to the degree that you need to do these easy solar ignitions. But there is value in practicing solar ignition in general. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, here's an existing solar igniter that I have. Let's see how many times we can ignite this char cloth.
Let's try some punk wood now. These are really great solar igniters. <laughs> 